Okay, this is question number 15 now, the last one on this paper. Figure 5 shows a sketch of the curve with equation of y plus f of x, where f of x is equal to 4 sine 2x over e to the power of root 2x minus 1, where x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to pi. The curve has a maximum turning point at P and a minimum turning point at Q as shown in figure 5. Part A shows that the x coordinates of P and the point Q are solutions of the equation tan 2x is equal to square root 2. Okay then. So, writing down what we've got. Uh, we need to find the derivative of this, I think, for our turning points. Now, differentiating that is a little bit of a mess, isn't it? Because we have to use a quotient rule, because we've got a fraction on a fraction, that makes sense. So we have to use a quotient rule. Now, the quotient rule states uh, that we've got to square the bottom as well as dealing with the top. So that will be e to the root 2 x minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of the bottom of the top, shall I say, which is 8 cosine 2x. Yeah. Minus uh, the top 4 sine 2x multiplied by the derivative of the bottom, of the, which is root 2 e to the power of root 2x minus 1, because e to the kx differentiates to k e to the kx. Divide that lot by uh, the bottom squared, so e root 2x minus 1, all squared. Wow, this is a bit of a mess. Well, we'll see what we can make out of it. So, we've got e root 2x minus 1 as a common factor. So let's factor that out, so 8 cosine of 2x. Mm, then we can minus 4 root 2 sine 2x, multiplying that out. And it's still divided by uh, the e root 2x minus 1, all squared. I'm going to move to the next page real quick. So you get 8 cosine of 2x minus 4 root 2 sine 2x all divided by e root 2 x take away 1. Right. Now we need to put that equal to zero, don't we? So f prime of x e equals to zero will imply that eight cosine two x minus four root two sine of two x has got to be zero. So I get eight minus four root two tan two x. It's got to be equal to zero. So we get tan of 2x being equal to 8 over 4 square root 2, which is 2 over root 2, which is just root 2. That's required. Okay. Part B. Uh, using your answer to part A, find the coordinate, find the x coordinate of the minimum turning point on the curve with the equation part 1 y equals f of 2x. Now you've got to remember what happens when it's inside the bracket. It fact, it's a factor of a half, don't forget. So that will mean that tan of 2x is root 2, stating that bit. So 2x will be arc tan of root 2. 
which I make it on the calculus to not point nine five five three one. Keep going on. Half that I'll calculate it. Not point four seven seven six five yet to. And of course, the other value was 2x being equal to uh, 4.0969. So x is 2.0484. Oh, well. Okay. So, for part one, part i, why is f of 2x? Well, f of 2x. The minimum will be the one point not two four. Won't it? If you think about it, it's multiplied by half in a sense. Yeah. That's that one there. Okay. Make sure I show me working. And for part two. Uh, y is 3 minus 2f of x. So that's on the outside. Well, that's going to be this one here, isn't it? Minus 0.478. To, uh, it's 2dp, isn't it? Why is it that, you might be asking? Uh, well, don't forget, what does 2f of x do? It will uh, shift it, won't it? It'll, st it'll stretch it, scale factor 2. And it, the 3, <laughs> as it's minus 2 up to the opposite, and the 3 is shifting it up 3. So you're moving the minimum point as well. As we know, the x coordinates of the minimum are relating to tan 2x as being equal to root 2. It's a weird question, this. I won't expect this to come up anytime soon, but it's a good little question to have a, have a practice of, if you're wondering. So, have a scroll down to the marks game. So the mark scheme, part A, attempts to differentiate using the quotient rule or otherwise, gets the M1 mark. The A1 mark, f prime of x being e to the root 2x minus 1 take away 8 cosine, multiplied by 8 cosine 2x, minus 4 sine 2x times the root 2 e root 2x minus 1, all over e root 2x minus 1 all squared, getting that with the A1 mark, setting that equal to 0, and divides, factorises out to the e root 2x minus 1 terms for the M1 mark. Proceeds via sine 2x over cosine 2x being 8 over 4 root 2 to tan 2x being equal to root 2 for the a1 mark. Part b, part 1, solving tan 4x being equal to root 2, getting the 1.02 there, which is what we got, and the 0.478 for the tan, x, tan 2x being equal to root 2 to find the other solution. Hmm. See what it says here in the notes, if anything. Yeah, but well, it's pretty much what we got on it for part B. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. That's how we can get all the marks here for question number 15 on the end of this paper.